Hi, I'm Austin from Seasucker, here to tell you about how to perform basic care and maintenance on your Seasucker vacuum mounts. You should do regular care and maintenance of each of your Seasucker vacuum mounts to keep them in top condition. Also, if you notice that the indicator band is starting to show faster than normal, or the pumping mechanism doesn't feel as smooth as normal, let's give it a simple cleaning of the vacuum pad and the pump and a quick inspection. There are really only two functional components in the Seasucker vacuum mount the vacuum pad and the vacuum pump. The vacuum pad has to make a good seal for the sea sucker to hold, so you should check the sealing edge and make sure there are no nicks or cuts or other damage. Run your finger around the sealing edge to feel for damage while inspecting it visually. A damaged vacuum pad should be replaced before using your sea sucker again. If your vacuum pad has a deformed edge, it is generally not ruined. To fix this, either let the vacuum pad sit on a smooth, flat surface or put the plastic cover on the vacuum pad, taking care to seat the sealing edge completely into the cover. Another thing to look for is dirt. Dirt can interfere with your sea sucker's ability to make a good seal on wherever you're attaching it. Use a clean sponge and dish soap to clean it. A quick tip, don't use window cleaners on your vacuum pad. They can make it slippery when attached. Be sure to rinse it off when you're finished, and after you dry it, Look to make sure your sponge and drying cloth haven't left any fibers or residue on the vacuum pad because that could also affect your sea sucker's ability to make a good seal. Now it is time to clean the pump and the pump cylinder. Pull the pump out of the housing and set it aside and we will get to that in a moment. Roll up a full size sheet of paper towel and wet it with water and dish soap. Make sure the paper towel is nice and damp and push it into the cylinder all the way to the bottom, twisting it back and forth to make sure it gets any debris inside the cylinder. Any debris inside the cylinder can affect the pump's ability to function properly. Roll up a dry sheet of paper towel and repeat the same steps. Make sure the cylinder is completely dry and there is no debris or residue left inside it. Also, inspect the rubber gasket at the bottom of the cylinder that it is not folded over or damaged. Now it's time to clean the pump that we set aside earlier. Get a sheet of paper towel and wet it with water and dish soap. Wipe off any dirt on the black gasket of the pump. You should also inspect the black gasket of the pump that it does not have any cuts or indentions in it. Get some clean water for a quick rinse and dry it off with a clean sheet of paper towel. And now before you reassemble the pump, you're going to need to relube the pump gasket. Here at Seasucker, we sent all of our products out with a silicone lubricant called Lube Tube. Put a drop of lube on the tip of your finger and wipe it all the way around the gasket to give it a good glaze, kind of like a nice glazed donut. Now you can put the plunger back into the pump of the cylinder and give it a couple of pumps to spread the lubricant around and your Seasucker should be as good as new. Sometimes cleaning isn't enough. If parts need to be replaced, it's okay. It's really simple to swap in a new pad or pump. Start by removing the four housing screws on your sea sucker. Then remove the housing. Twist the pump out of the cup and swap out the old part for the new one. Wet the tip and gently twist the tip into the hole on top of the vacuum pad. Put your housing back on top, screw in the screws, and you're good to go. That's the basics of Seasucker care and maintenance. I'm Austin from Seasucker. Thanks for watching.